Uh, we knew the winner of that game would be 7-0, obviously. The McClatchy girls have more than tripled that win total. Their flag football team is 23-0 this season. That's insane, right? <laughs> and get this, <laughs> it's only their first time playing this year. Fox 40's Vanessa Romo joins us again, and she talked with the Lions this week about their season. Vanessa. Yeah, these Lions are fierce. Most haven't played football a day in their life until the program was introduced this season, and now they're leading the nation in many statistical categories, and no, they're not surprised. Not at all. I already knew we were going to be good when we came, when we started. The McClatchy High Flag football team is rolling through their first season. I was super excited. I was, I was pushing our AD to like have it, and I just kept kind of being in his ear about it because I, I really wanted to play again. Quarterback Daisy Throckmorton, not a stranger to the game. She's been under center since she was four years old, and now she's leading the nation in total yards passing and rushing. She also has 98 passing touchdowns. I mean, I try not to get too caught up in like the stats and all that but I mean it is it's nice to hear and uh, it's cool to feel recognized and I mean obviously I can't have that many receiving yards without people being able to catch the ball and so my receivers are a huge part of that. One of those receivers is Savannah Hill. The sophomore also leads the nation with 44 sacks and tackles for loss and she's never played football a day in her life. Honestly I was really surprised like I didn't think I was going to be that good but you know it is. <laughs> Unlike Hill, Brianna Kimmins played growing up and most of the time she was the only girl. She took a break from the game because truth was the boys were getting bigger. Football has always been my, my first love, and I've always loved football, so I was super excited that it was going to be at the school. Now she's back in the backfield, bulldozing her way past teams to lead the Lions in scoring. Stop sleeping on girls, like, stop sleeping on girls football, stop sleeping on girls basketball, stop sleeping on, stop sleeping on girls in general because girls can do anything guys can do. Period. <laughs> the Lions have outscored their opponents 799 to 69. That is wild. And 12 of those 23 games were shutouts. So who's going to stop them? Andrew Kirsten, I'll send it back to you.